What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail today, your boy is going to be explaining as to why I took almost eight years to propose to this beautiful girl right here next to me. What was that? <laughs> so yeah, okay. So do you remember what I told you the night of the proposal, like when we were having dinner? I briefly explained why I took so long. Oh, well, you said a lot of things that night, so rejog my memory, please. <laughs> okay, well, all right, I'm just gonna get like right into it. So, basically, we're going on eight years of being together, right? Eight years, it'll be in October. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are probably like, oh my god, you took so long, yada, yada, yada. And it's because I knew what she deserved, I knew everything had to be perfect. And it's crazy to say that the first attempt of the proposal, a couple of days, before the proposal, a thunderstorm happened and it ruined everything. I just thought like, this is just gonna be like one of the hardest things in my life. And it ended up being the most important moment of my life and probably the one of the most beautiful moments of my life. As to why it took so long is because, like I said, everything had to be perfect. I knew what she deserved. I feel like the last two years or so, I really grew up and like became this mature guy that I was supposed to be from the very beginning of our relationship. And I feel like I wasn't that person. Also, could I have done this sooner? 100% I could have done it sooner, but like I said, I, I, I wasn't mature, you know what I mean? I, I'm manning up to it, I'm owning up to it. Could have done it, but I didn't. So how would you describe me at the beginning of our relationship versus like the past two years? As far as like maturing, like how have I changed? Do you want me like, to say like- No, be honest, be honest. This is 100% raw, um, real, like- Okay, so in the beginning of our relationship, I know how you said that you felt like you should have been a man from the beginning. I disagree with that only because when we started dating, we were kids. We were fresh out of high school and we knew each other and liked each other since we were 14, 13 years old. We just never really like pulled the trigger, but like we were still maturing during all of that time and we already had that kind of like playful relationship of like flirting but like still friends and i feel like that carried on into our relationship before we ever like took it super super seriously like we were in a relationship and we were just about each other but we were still learning each other and we were still growing as human beings i think that i expected you to be more mature um like when i moved from florida to new jersey like that's that's like the time frame i'm talking about. yeah like that's when i feel it started because yeah. we moved in together about maybe after a year and a half of us being together i would say like no. two years what like two years it was like two two and a half years two two and a half years okay so in the beginning like i said i'm manning up to everything i wasn't mature and you said yeah we were kids and all that and out of high school but like we're out of high school mm -hmm. we're adults at that point and i wasn't acting like an adult i was so intrigued like not even intrigued i was so like drawn into i guess for lack of better terms like the car world and i was just spending crazy amounts of money and guys i'm talking from the beginning up until now i've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on car stuff when it could have went to other stuff i could have gotten us an apartment when she moved from florida to jersey so we could live together could have gotten us an apartment i could have proposed a long time ago i just could have did a lot of things that a man should have did and i didn't i could have kept promises that i made and i didn't so I feel like that's what I mean when I said I should have been like more mature and I wasn't. And I feel like the last two years is where like I've really like grown up, yeah. changed um, and started to become a man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And honestly, like I just feel that that time frame, it was also very hard because we were going through a lot emotionally, both of us um, just like learning how to be adults in general when you're in a relationship from when you're young is very tough and we're very different people like i was always the type of person that i literally saved every penny that i got 
um, because I had that hustle mindset of like, I take care of myself. I'm gonna like succeed with without any help from anybody. And my goal was always to just like financially provide for myself. So um, since I was young, I always like had a lot of money saved and I was ready to make moves. Isaiah's mindset was different at the time. Isaiah's mindset was just like, I think you wanted to just have fun and his dream was always to have these exotic cars and stuff like that and we kind of just i had to really sit down and have a conversation with him and tell him well we're in a relationship we're going on a couple years now you need to make a decision you need to figure out what's your priority and you know like we're a couple and we're, we're gonna eventually have kids and get a home and this is serious stuff that we need to save for and it took him a little while to i think understand that like in the moment when she would like tell me these type of things i would say like what do you mean like priority like you are my priority and i was saying all that stuff and 100 percent, she was a priority to me 100 percent. but i wasn't showing that because again i was spending money on stupid stuff i wasn't saving i wasn't working towards our future and like I said, I was spending thousands of dollars on just stupid cars, car parts. And like I said, I could have done so much, so many other things with that money. And I didn't. And what? Yeah. And, and that is just like seeing that was like a little disappointing because whenever like. I was surprised you stayed with me. I'm not even going to lie. Like, <laughs> now thinking back on it, like. I just I know that I I wanted to I wanted to be with you and like I love you so much that I was willing to stick with you through anything but I told him like eventually I was getting sick of it and it's like if you're gonna keep making these decisions and putting like a car before us getting an apartment or putting like car parts over us like being able to build our lives then i just can't do it i told him like i'll get my own apartment I'm, I'm, i wasn't gonna like break up with him or anything like that but i'm like i'm gonna get my own place i'm gonna get my own home eventually and you need to just like get your shit together and i feel like like he said like he was just like I, you are a priority and stuff like that but i didn't see it that way because i saw it as like you're choosing to have all of these pleasures instead of being responsible and building a forever life with me so i just felt like he wasn't really taking that seriously and you know again it wasn't until like two years like it's been uh kind of recent that isaiah's really like opened his eyes and um, i feel like it, it started maybe like a year prior to moving to florida yeah so that's when like things really started to hit like my mindset and that's when I had my Mustang at the time. And I remember I sold my Mustang because the dealership um, that I got it from, they hit me up and they were like, yo, we want to buy it off you. That was when, you know, the car market was crazy. It hurt so much to let that car go, but financially it was the smartest thing to do because when I bought that car, I signed that contract with an 18% interest rate. And that was me again being stupid and me just putting a car before my future. That was, a, I was paying like, 850 almost 900 dollars a month for a regular 5.0 mustang that's like a, a payment that i could have had like on a gt350 like something like higher end you know what i mean and again it was me being stupid but when they gave me that offer i was like you know what i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna have all my debt gone you know i'm gonna like kind of like refresh hit the reset button on my life and i'm gonna do things right this time so at that point that's when i really started saving money um that's when we started talking about moving to florida and all that and again the money was starting to come in better at that at that time so this time i decided to go get a car the right way so that's when i hit up one of my guys over at jersey he's an auto broker he got me the car the right way with no rollover and no crazy fees all that extra stuff got me a car for and i, I was paying the car note that made sense for the car, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't, it, it, everything just made sense at that point. Yeah. So then after that, that's when we started talking about Florida and like, let's move or whatever. So then I started saving money and we moved to Florida. We had to buy furniture, all that good stuff. So it was, a, it was like I said, more so me maturing, opening my eyes, having a wider mindset and doing what I had to do as a man and letting all that childish, childish stuff go and like, worrying about it after because i'm still about my car stuff you guys know yeah. i love my car i'm still modding my car i'm still spending crazy amounts of money on mods and stuff like that but 
I'm putting our future first now. And we also have the financial means to do so. Like we're not Back gonna then we front. Didn't. Yeah, like we're not gonna front like But that was what's bad. Back then we exactly. did it and I was using the money for stuff that wasn't a priority but what i right. thought was a priority mind you we were working full-time jobs at the time like busting our ass trying to save money and while also doing youtube and we're just like trying to rack up coins and it's like you're just wasting it on shit that essentially doesn't matter like at the end of the day materialistic shit does not matter cars like designer all that shit just doesn't matter what matters is you know you having a roof over your head food in your mouth stuff like that and so it was just like I, I that was, was the thing guys of... like i would literally spend money on just car stuff stupid stuff and then only having like ten dollars to eat for lunch you know what i mean and you know ten dollars doesn't really get you a good meal nowadays so it was like i was literally slaving away for my car and i could have been doing so many other things like i said it was overall it was just me maturing um, and like I said, getting my priorities straight. That's when I, and Miguel, I don't know if, I think it was in the clip when we called Miguel and he was like, realistically, you've been talking about proposing for like two and a half years or something like that. That's when I started maturing. I knew that like once my, my eyes opened up and I got the mindset right, that's when I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna propose, but I know how much money I need and I know how I wanna go about it and I'm not gonna settle for anything less. And obviously you guys saw the proposal and that's everything that I wanted. And it wasn't cheap by any means, and I'm not gonna say how much it was, but it took a lot of, like I said, maturing, saving up money, knowing my priorities, and getting the job done. So that's why now she has a ring on her finger and we can happily say that we are fiancés. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much why I took almost eight years to go ahead and propose. Honestly, I thank God so much that she stayed with me because she could have easily left after like the first two years. She could have left when we moved in and then she saw like, yo, this, this kid, this child is not like, <laughs> you know, putting his priorities in order and like, like I said, I thank God every day that she stood with me and I made a lot of stupid decisions, but I feel like I fixed myself up. And like I said, I'm owning up to everything. I became the man that I should have been. It took a while, but I got there and now we're here. And honestly, like people will probably call me dumb for like staying and stuff like that. But I know Isaiah's heart. Isaiah's a great person. He I always treated her right. Yeah. I just, like I said, just I wasn't made... working towards our future. Yeah. You... I, I wasn't, I just, I wasn't saving for an apartment. I wasn't saving for a proposal. I wasn't doing any of that stuff that I should have been. Yeah. But I always treated her right, always loved her, obviously. But yeah, is there anything else you want to say? No, honestly, I, that's all really. I just wanted to say like, I'm, I'm happy that we're in the place that we are in now. And I'm happy that the time, I would pray literally like, God, if this man is supposed to be in my life, like keep him in my life. And if not, just like, let him leave and he stayed yeah. in my life and i'm like there's a purpose there's a reason why we're together and we constantly you know work through these obstacles and it, it it's great to have like a best friend because we had amazing times but nobody's perfect and i think that it's kind of dumb to leave someone just because they don't have guidance on how to save financially if i i'm great at saving that's just something that i can give to him and i did isaiah is like doing so much better now than he was before and it took a while but things don't happen overnight and you kind of just have to have patience especially with the people that you love and yeah that's what I, i'm gonna continue doing like us as a relationship we continue to learn and grow but what matters is that we do it together and so yeah i think the last thing i want to say before we close out this video is to all my guys out there or girls if you're not making your significant other a priority go ahead and do so before it's too late just own up to it <laughs> be a man own up to it know your faults or be a woman own up to it i know i did and everything ended up working out thank god <laughs> but yeah so that's the story as to why i waited almost eight years to propose mm -hmm. nothing else to say no nope. this is like us being super super that, yeah too. like, like I, I can talk forever about the past like seven years and everything that went down we went through a lot of stuff together but that's that's this is long. it in yeah. a nutshell <laughs> yeah so 
That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, understand, and appreciate me, you know, manning up and owning up to my faults and all that stuff. That I guess that's it, right? Yeah, I, that's it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video.